What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be taking a King Quad 750 AXI apart. As you can see, I done got some of it apart. This part's rather simple. It was lengthy, so I just went ahead and took it apart. But you got a bolt here, 10 millimeter, 10 and a 10. All these are Phillips heads. Take them off. And then you'll have two bolts here, 14 millimeters. Unscrew it unscrew it take this bolt out which is on this side it is a 12 millimeter and you'll have to use a deep well on it and then that's where we're at right here this is all eight millimeters just unscrew every one of them there ain't gonna be no editing in this video so this is more or less how long it'll take you to take the transmission off. You can account for five minutes here. And as you can see, I done about have ever screw out of this. So you'll have them off pretty quick too. It's not no big deal to take one of these transmissions off. Got one here, pull that out. simple that looks like it one thing I will tell you to do here that'll help you a lot is go over there and loosen the brake pedal where you can pull it down now this one got into some mud last weekend as you can see all right now go ahead and pop these off And they're the same thing. I'd keep these separate so you will know. And I should have known to go ahead and get my magnet. Maybe I can find it. If not, we'll just grab some needle nose real quick. Magnet would be easier. As you can see them's the same length. And you got one on the bottom. Make sure I didn't hit the camera just then, okay. Which is right here. And you'll pull this one out. And of course that one fell. Okay, all three that hold the cage are the same length. Pop that off, as simple as that is. That's what you got. Pull this boot off. There's still grease in there. This folder's only got about 400 miles on it. Set them three over there. And here's the simple part. 17 millimeter, 17. And I'll show you how easy this is. We're going to go to 17 millimeter here. Look at that, first one. Impact gun. There's that one, lay it down. There's that one. Okay. Now on this, remember which side goes where. Don't want you trying to mix it up and you put it back together, but it goes on just like this. And of course, my phone would be ringing. That's pretty much all there is to it. That slides off. You got that shaft there. Put your bolt in like that, that'll keep you from getting mixed up. You only have to take this bolt out if you're going to take this off, but it slides off just like that if you want to change this secondary spring. We're not changing it on this one. 
I just want to take that bolt off to show you. And then it goes back on just like that. So it's pretty simple. Always hand screw these back in. Make sure this shaft has grease in it. This one has plenty. So there's no need to put any grease in it. We're also going to do the shim mod to this one. The belt will have arrows on it, which you see here. This is a factory belt. The arrows point in the direction of drive, which will be that way. Here's your shim kit. They will go right here. Point 0.2, point 0.5, one millimeter and one millimeter. So what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna crack this open. We're gonna do a 1.5. That's the same things on that 500 right there. And if he don't like it, we can always go back, put more. They're marked from this guy. These are come off eBay, one millimeter. 1.5. Just slide them on, just like that. Now, put this back on, same way it came off. Very simple. Just so you know, this comes off. If you ever want to take it off and clean, just like that. It's pretty simple too. It goes back on like that. That goes on. Now. This customer also wants me to lighten the rollers. It's pretty simple. If one of these was to fall off, it's not that big of a deal. They won't go on like this. So there's only one way for them to go on. So don't trip out if you drop one. Pretty simple. Here's your rollers. Now, <clears throat> if I can make this work in my hand, I won't have to make a part two to this going over to the shop. 17 is just a hair too big. But what you want to do, and we'll just go ahead and try it right here, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Find you a socket that will fit the inner race, and that's perfect. All right, now, you'll find the hammer, small one or large one, doesn't matter. If you can do this, see how it's coming out? This is how you take your rollers out. See it coming out? Now, if you can hold this tight enough, and I may not be able to, but we're going to try it. A vice works perfect. I don't have one here. It looks like though we might be able to get them out. Yeah, just keep pecking on it a little. So if you've got other rollers, there it is. It just fell out. Okay. So. That was a 9 16 socket. You see it didn't damage nothing on the roller. So I don't have a grand machine here with me, but I'm gonna show you how to modify these. Cut my hand a little doing it, but it'll be all right. You will take these out, drill. So let's say, here's what you wanna do. You wanna drill here, 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 and here directly down. So you want to make a cross. Three, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Drill a hole here, 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 and here. Weigh it. And I'll get to that on another series, part two. Uh, but if you have already purchased a gram, like say 18, 16 gram rollers, whatever your preference may be, all you do is set this back on it, take your 9 sixteenths, put it on there, tap it right back in. Once you do that, you come right over here, 
cut my hand pretty good, but and you slide it right back in. It's that simple. Now this will be in there. You just do each one of them like that. You put this right back on. So now your new rollers is in. Once you've changed all of them, and you slide this right back on, put your belt on, tighten this nut, and tighten this nut. It's that simple. Put it back together. But I will show you, if I can get my grand machine on the next video clip, I'll show you how to drill them and weigh them and put them in. But you've done seen one of them. But uh, you kind of get the hint. It's not that big of a deal to take the transmission off one of these, the sheaves and the belt. It's pretty simple. But uh, we're going to clean this one up because it got sunk in a little bit of mud last week. Went through that factory junky CVT intake. So get the mud and stuff out. We're going to install, which we already have, like I told you, the 1.5 millimeter shims. They're on here. And uh, we're going to put 16 gram rollers in it. And I'll let you know how it does. Appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that uh, subscribe button. Share with your friends. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload stuff. You got some comments? Put them in the comment section there, man. It's uh, good when I get feedback from a lot of you guys. But uh, appreciate it. Y'all have a good day and God bless.